update to one of my earlier restoration videos. We uh, restored this Matchbox number 20 uh, taxi cab box. Well, we had a pretty bad rip across this end flap. Um, and I used our paper tape method to repair that. And this is one of my mint uh, Chevy Impala taxi cabs that I bought that box to go with. And as I noted in the video, um, unlike some of my other models, this one was actually missing the water slide uh, taxi decal. Um, this car is not a restoration. This is all original paint. Um, and it's in really good condition. So I, I don't know if this was just never put on at the factory um, or if you know this car maybe got played with in a bathtub or you know at some point um, that water transfer let loose or came off. But I did want to add it back and after many weeks of waiting because I can't find a US supplier for a lot of these parts, I finally got in my replacement decal for my mint condition uh, taxi. So I wanted to shoot a video update for that. We're gonna go ahead and put this on. So I'm just gonna let it soak in water for right now. Uh, like any water transfer, you always want to wet the surface that you're going to apply it to as well. This does a couple things. Uh, it gives you a little more prep time, a little wor working time on it. Um, for sure lets you line it up, make sure it's right where you want, and um, kind of gives a little lubrication so when you slide it around you're not worried about uh, tearing it. You'll see on the original car, this was something that Lesney Matchbox did to try to make it easier for the people in the factory to line these up. You'll see in the casting there's a very slight outline right here on the hood. And those casting marks were intended to help the factory workers line up where the decal goes. So I'm going to use those marks and the new water slide to try to reapply the missing decal from this car. So this is very small. I have very big hands, big fingers, so bear with me as I try to get this to come off. I'm also gonna use, this is a fresh dry um, cotton bud or Q-tip to try to pull that. Uh, there you can see it start to want to fold around that end. There we go. Trying to get this down. Lined up exactly between those lines. That actually doesn't look half bad. I want to dab kind of around the edge. So I want to just soak up any of that extra water in the area. And then I kind of want to reference the original artwork on the box as well. You can see this is back and this the joint on the hood kind of falls right between the A and the X. So I'm going to try to get as close to that as I can. And, and judging from the artwork here I'd say it Oh, it actually needs to come up on the hood a little bit right there so I can kind of use use those reference marks on the hood so that I'm evenly spaced around and I think that that right there is a pretty close match to what the original box artwork shows so we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back with our decal set um, to dissolve that decal and make sure that it stays. So the last step with uh, any water transfer or decal application that I like to do is I like to apply a little bit of the testers number 8804 uh, decal set. Um, this just makes sure that that decal, once it's on the car, stays exactly where you put it. Um, go through quite a bit to get these on 
get them straightened out. And uh, generally don't want them scooting or moving around. So the decal set helps make sure that that happens. The other thing this lets me do is if I were doing a restoration um, and I wanted to clear over that decal, this will prevent uh, any clear coats or anything from reacting uh, with that. So that completes the final step for this restoration. Um, so I wanted to give you all a quick update. Um, just to let you know that I did get the decals in. I did finish this car up. So thanks again.